Hi, welcome back to my channel. This video is for a book review for The Liar's Child. I, I have talked about this book on my channel, whether it was in a wrap up or even when I was doing my whipping chat, but I do hope to continue to make individual videos for book reviews as much as it is reasonably possible. So what is it about the liar's child? Who is the liar and what child is involved? Well, the way I start my book review, my written review is secrets can erode the best of relationships, especially marriages. And in this particular case, we have a married couple named Kay and Matt. They were in love, very happily married as far as things looked on outward appearances. However, Kay has started to become disenchanted in her marriage. She sees a message on Matt's phone that leads her to believe that he's cheating on her. More than that is Matt is a physician specializing in pediatrics and serious pediatric cases. So he's always on call and that his, his job almost takes precedence over their marriage. So Kay begins to wonder, is all the time that Matt's spending away from home time that he's b being with another woman, especially in view of that message that she saw on his phone? Then we have the couple's child, Poppy. I think she was five years old. Poppy had a serious disease. She has renal disease or kidney failure. And at some point, Poppy is going to need major surgery. So Matt and Kay should be spending their time focused on little Poppy, but instead their marriage is a little bit shaky. As a matter of fact, the marriage is so shaky that the communication has completely evaporated between them, if I can use that word. Now, Poppy should be worried about being a little happy five-year-old, but she knows she's not well, and she worries that her parents are worried about her. In her little mind, she knows how to worry about that. What's more is Poppy can kind of sense something going on between her parents. How? And then there's another layer to the story, a very serious layer to the story, is Poppy didn't like going to school. She didn't like it. Well, she found a friend at school that completely changed her at attitude about school. She was excited to go to school every day, excited to get up every morning. And the reason why is she developed a new little friend named Olivia or Liv, and they became fast friends. They, they just were two peas in a pod. And that is literal. And the reason that it's literal is that one day when Kay goes to pick Poppy up at school, she sees her little friend Olivia. And as far as Kay's concerned, Liv could be uh, Poppy's twin. Yes, Poppy has a doppelganger, a lookalike hair, the the uniqueness in the eyes, the facial structure, the the physical appearance. So remember, Kay is suspecting Matt of cheating on her, and now she sees what could very well be Poppy's sister, and now she's sure that Matt has had an affair. The question is, with who, with whom, and how long? How long has Matt been cheating on her? So, instead of worrying about Poppy and her health or how Poppy will do, now Kay is worried about the fact that she's got to prove that Matt is having an affair. Now, what you have here is a web of secrets, but it's more than that. There's obsession that comes into this story. And how is it that who is it is the liar remember the book is called the liar's child so who is it in this story that's the liar and when you read the story if you're like me you're going to be guessing as you get through the story well guess what i was wrong i guessed wrong now while we have matt and Kay having their problems matt's brother jason is in the story and that adds another layer. 
So you got Matt and Kay in their marriage. You got little Poppy being sick. You got Poppy who has a doppelganger. Then you have the lack of communication between Matt and Kay, which I know goes with the first point. And now you have Matt's brother, Jason. So how does all this come together? How does it piece together? And who is the liar in the story? It's a convoluted story, most certainly, but it's very, very well executed. Excellent, thrilling story. Uh, everything came together and it was just a really, really good story. And I was so riveted to this story that I ended up being completely shocked as to who was lying in the story. So that is The Liar's Child by Cheryl Brown. It's a book of your title. As a matter of fact, I have so many book of your titles that the majority of my book reviews over the next couple of weeks will be from the book of your publisher who is based in the UK. Um, just wanted to let you know that. I will link the uh, Amazon, uh, I will put the Amazon link in the description below and as an Amazon affiliate, yada, 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 FTC. Um, but I also will try to link my uh, video, excuse me, my blog post in this video. But that's it, The Liar's Child by, by uh, Cheryl Brown. Hopefully you'll grab this book and enjoy it as much as I did. All right, bye-bye.